Hey YouTube, JT here. Today we're going to talk about uh, neck knives. Uh, some people would wonder why, why carry a neck knife. I recently read an article that uh, in New York, you can't carry a pocket knife with a clip exposed. Uh, police there will arrest you for something called menace to the public. So if you can't carry your tactical knife in your pocket, you're going to have to buy one of those uh, leather holsters or a different sheet deployment system where it fits inside your pocket so the knife and the clip isn't exposed. And the snack knives would be another way to go. So first off, we have this Emerson LaGriff. One of my older, older ones, very nice blade real sharp like most of these knives they'll cut you several layers of clothes next you have this uh, CRKT Columbia River Knife and Tool they're called it has these wicked um, serrations no, this thing will definitely rip through your clothes to get to you. It's a nice feel, a little hefty. You put it in this thick kydex sheet. It's even more chunky and heavy. But then my theory on that, like most stuff I carry, is there's no price for security. Price doesn't mean cost in dollars. It also means comfort. You're uncomfortable. But by carrying it, it might protect you later on, it might save your life. Sacrifices have to be made. Cold steel, delta dark. I look at this as a space age v version of a prison shank. I punch holes in a scumbag three ways to Sunday with this. Plus, if you put it on a different lanyard instead of a chain, remove the ring, and it'll pass to a metal detector. Hack knife, hideaway knife. See, I got it on the Oakley lanyard. This thing's good for weapon retention. It's gonna be hard to disarm you while you're slicing the douchebag up. This other one's uh, the Tiger Claw version. The first one was a utility straight edge. And you notice I use a lot of euphemisms for uh, my attackers or assailants because I have no compassion for them. It's like Mr. T said I pity the fool trying to take what I got. Another Columbia River Knife and Tool. This one's called a Stiff Kiss. KISS is one of the terms you use for a while. Keep it simple, stupid. It's an executor, executive letter opener, too. It's an improvised way of carrying a neck knife. This thing is real light, but it will serve its purpose. You can put it on a thread. In this case here, I have it on some dental floss. So be around your neck underneath your shirt. You can just yank it, break it away from the thread, and then go to town. So just a few neck knives that I have. So options. You always have to have options. Alright, watch your six. JT out.